Thanks for admiring my 1956 uh, Thunderbird. This has really been um, a very, very special T-Bird. Uh, the 56s were very unique in many ways. This one is finished in Fiesta Red. Many of my friends call it Coral, and her name is Cora. You know, it underwent a total restoration, including exterior, interior, mechanics, and bright work. And the 56s are considered uh, highly prized uh, of the baby birds because it was the only year that Ford offered the Continental kit in the rear, which many, including me, believe that it really added to the, uh, to the line. Uh, the exterior on it is absolutely beautiful, as is the interior, which we'll get to momentarily. It has a set of wide white wall radials, the original Ford scripted full disc wheel covers, which are absolutely lovely. The panel fit and finish on it, Sam, is just outstanding. It does have the optional fender skirts with the fender shields, which you can see. It's beautiful. I love the color. Ah. Uh, and it's a very, very unusual and very rare color. It was special ordered, um, and uh, it gets all of the thumbs up any time it goes out. So, Norm, the Continental kit, was it only for this year? Only for this year. It was made available in 56, was not available in 55, or in 57. But it came from the factory in 1956. If you look down the sides of it, Sam, um, it is uh, very, very straight. No parking lot uh, nicks or dings on it that are discernible. The bright work on it is, is just uh, outstanding. The interior on it is magnificent. Uh, it was starting to show some wear on the driver's seat and so when I went ahead and had that done, uh, I decided to go ahead and have everything redone, a la new seat covers and stuffing, new door panel coverings, dash, carpeting. Uh, so if all of that looks new, it's only because it is. It has the, uh, the T-Bird scripted uh, floor mats, and it has most if not every option that was available back in the day. Um, power steering, power brakes, power windows, power seat. It's a four-way power seat. The power town and country radio, the electric clock, which is in off, uh, the factory tachometer, uh, the automatic floor shift with the, uh, with the gear lock on it. And another very unusual feature for 56 was the Astro Dome, Sam. Oh, wow. Which covered the speedometer and gave some additional lighting. Um, so does, that sort of backlights that, that speedometer, right? That's exactly right. Very nice. Some other features include the wing windows, which was a very unique styling feature back in the day. Uh, it has the uh, side view chrome mirror. I also have the highly desirable factory uh, hardtop, porthole hardtop, which is finished in white, which is contrasting uh, to the rest of the car. So uh, Norm, um, the hardtop, now the porthole was only for this year, and then, or, is that right? 56 and 57. Okay, okay. Accessing the trunk and the gas door uh, involves just depressing the lever, dropping back the Continental kit, and the gas door is right here. So there's no need to be concerned with filling the gas from either the left or the right side. So it can be filled from either side. And we're gonna open the trunk now. Now, the, the first thing that I notice is there's no spare because it's right here. That's exactly right. <laughs> so much more room back there. And 55, 
they, uh, the uh, guys objected to the spare being in the trunk because they said there was insufficient room for their golf clubs. So to answer that or address that issue, Ford moved the spare to the Continental kit. As you can see in the trunk, all of the rubber molding uh, was replaced during the restoration process, which is true of the trunk and the doors and the other areas as well. One of the interesting things that are unique to the 56s is, is the rear bumper design and the exhaust ports, which, which are actually um, uh, blended right into the rear bumper there. Do you see that, Sam? I do, yes, absolutely. That's so nice. Wow, that's pretty. Yeah, the engine compartment is done to show quality standards. There's a battery cutoff switch. Uh, it has the highly prized uh, chrome engine dress-up kit, which really uh, adds to the, uh, the showing of the engine compartment. But as you can see, during the restoration process, uh, everything was removed and, you know, the, uh, the inner fender panels and the firewall and all of that were completely refinished. Sam, this has truly been one of my favorite uh, Thunderbirds from this era. I don't know that I've gotten more compliments on the color of a car than I have on this. Uh, a friend of mine said, Norm, it's not coral, it is seductive coral. <laughs> uh, it, it's just so easy uh, to enjoy in such a rare, rare color combination, especially with the white hardtop and the contrasting coral and white uh, interior. If the dash on this looks almost perfect, it's only because it is. Um, for reliability purposes, an electric fuel pump has been added, uh, which back in the day eliminated the issue of vapor locks, which were quite common on the, uh, on the V8 engines, on all of the engines actually. And this does have the larger 312 V8 engine with a four barrel carburation and the dual exhaust system. Uh, the front end is nice and tight. There's no shimmy or shaking in the steering wheel. Um, the shifting on the transmission is very crisp. Uh, I love the the exhaust tone yeah, on this. Yeah, it is a nice rumble. Yeah, I, like it. I do too. Uh, the braking system on it is outstanding and was completely refurbished so there's no pulling to the left or the right of the brakes. Uh, the front end is nice and tight. There's no shimmy or shaking at highway speed. So it is a, an outstanding car to tour around town in or even on the open road. It is ready for show or tour.
Now the power steering and the power brakes on this just make it an absolute pleasure to drive, not only for guys, but their wives or girlfriends or both. Well, now this car, Norm, is maxed out option-wise, isn't it? Yes, that's correct. And I love the way you sit down in the cabin. Uh, you're not highly exposed with the mm -hmm. with the top off, so you don't get beat up, which makes it an absolute pleasure to drive as an open car, which is really what is designed uh, to be enjoyed for. It is nice and tight, no rattles. Now this is quiet. Yeah. Nothing so, going on. Uh, some of these old convertibles uh, ride like covered wagons, but this one is an absolute pleasure to drive and it's really one of the best driving uh, birds of this vintage that I have enjoyed over the years. Especially having a Continental kit, which you and I have experienced before. That Continental kit can rattle and this one is quiet. Yes, it, it, it is nice and tight. It is. Great observation. I also have the uh, the 1956 T-Bird Owner's Manual, which is a nice reference guide. 